In this video by EBN Painting, we are spray painting a cinder block wall and we start our preparation work by moving gravel a few inches away from the wall. Next step is pressure washing. Before we started, the customer pulled away artificial grass away from the wall about a foot so it's easier for us to paint. And then we put the tarps on top of artificial grass. We also put tarps on top of the pool deck where it's close to the wall so it doesn't get any overspray. On the side of the house that is next to the wall we covered with 12 inch masking paper. On top of the wall along the metal fencing that we're not painting we run 12 inch masking paper and we used green tape to keep together the branches of the trees that are next to the wall to prevent them from touching the wall. If you're wondering about what's this on top of the block wall, uh, this is some kind of a masonry material, either stock or cement. The customer tried to fill in the joints between the block, but it didn't come out the way they wanted to, so they decided to paint the wall instead. Now, this is the other end of the wall. Uh, here we covered the house and the side gate with 12 inch masking paper. Part of the wall that is shared with the neighbor we taped off using inch and a half green tape. We covered the pool equipment with tarp and we masked off one electric outlet. The rest of the boxes the customer wanted to paint the same color as the wall so we don't have to worry about masking those. When we set up the sprayer we put the tarp underneath so when we strain the paint any spills or drips end up on the tarp and not on the ground. Here there's a small section of the wall already been painted. Uh, this is the customer were trying to do it themselves using a roller and when they realized it's a little bit more work than they expected uh, they decided to call us instead. After we finished with masking we begin spray painting. Uh, the first coat is the primer. We typically use Luxon Masonry Primer by Sean Williams to prime any unpainted surfaces. After the primer is dry, we apply the paint. The paint we apply in two different directions, first from side to side and then up and down. On most of the block walls, when the customer chooses a neutral color, it takes us on average two coats to cover it properly. Uh, usually it's one coat of primer that is tinted towards the color of the paint and then the coat of paint, so two coats total. Uh, when we're painting the wall white, usually it requires multiple coats. On this particular wall, it took one coat of primer and then three coats of paint, so four coats total. So if you are choosing any color other than neutral, you can expect that it will require more than two coats. And this is the look of the wall before and after we painted it.